it looks like I'm the first one here at Kailua District Park. Got my bike in my Honda Fit right here. If you've ever wondered what car do I drive to transport my bike everywhere I go. Yes, a full 52 size bike fits in a Honda Fit with still enough room for the saddle up there. Um, I'm one of the first here at the parking lot for the Tradewind Cycling Team team ride and it's good I came all the way to the other side of the island weather forecast is looking cherry for the whole weekend look at how amazing the, the island is looking today this is what it's supposed to look like looking gorgeous gonna use the restroom get a little lighter if you know what I mean get my bike ready get ready to ride Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the vlog. I'm doing 5x5 five five intervals today with the power meter. 5 minutes at attempting 250. 5 minutes rest for 5 times. So that's a total of 5 intervals. Alright, and what am I using today? I'm using the Kestrel with the 105 power meter Shimano. On this side, over there, stages, and let's do a little bit of number analysis. Let's check it out. All right, so how I got my uh, Garmin screen set up for power is uh, I got uh, power on the top, my actual current power. I got my lap power right here on the second bar which was 231, I was trying to hold 250. And then I got my percentage of FTP. So I got my FTP set at 225. So when it hits 225, it's gonna say 100%. When I go over, it's gonna give me the numbers over. So if I'm at like 230, it'll give me 105%, 240, 110%, for example. Those aren't the exact numbers, but you know what I mean. And then I have my lap time right here so that I know uh, how long to take a rest for, five minutes, and how long to hammer for, five minutes. So I gotta go into my next interval and hopefully I can get some ride footage on my last, uh, my last lap. Yeah, okay, let's check it out, let's hit it. What does that say? Lap 4. Alright. Let's do this. Woo! A lot of traffic this morning. Or am I just not up early enough in the morning to see it? Started this morning at 6 a.m. Glad I did. I'm on interval number 4 for the next one. Uh, last lap power was 246 so I added one more screen of metrics or one more box I should say I added a max lap power so at the end of every five minute interval I'll do a 10 second sprint and check out what my uh, my max power for that lap was uh, that's better than having lap power for the whole ride because uh, when I hit that lap button uh, it cancels out the old max and then you can set a new max so you won't get confused so I think that's a good idea as well as uh, lap power lap power is good because it gives you the the power that you're putting out for your current lap uh, instead of instead of uh, your raw power uh, which is for the whole ride yeah so you, and the lap power you can also zero out every time you hit the lap button which is good yeah let me show you what the screen looks like when I'm actually riding okay because right now I'm doing a five minute recovery lap and it says 318
with uh, current power 119, average power 132 for the lap, or lap power I should say. And then it's also got the percentage of FTP on the third bar. I'm having fun, man. Having fun with the power meter. Hope you're having fun as well. Thank you for watching. If you subscribed, thank you for subscribing. Appreciate it very much. I always like to read the comments in the comment box down below. Let me know people are actually watching my content, <laughs> which is good, but I'd make it either way because it's fun. Uh, time to get into the next hammer interval. Eh, gotta do it. Holy shit. I just attacked the uh, Ava street segment, A-A-W-A. -A -A. Let me catch my breath. That's interval number four. Just got one more to do. Let me flip the camera around. So this road is just riddled with monkey pod seeds, which kept flying up at me because they're really sticky and they stick to your tires. See my tire? Look at that crap. But anyway, had a, a 817 watt lap max power, 250 watts for lap power for that interval. And now I gotta do a recovery. Recovery five minutes and then hit it. Hit it for the fifth interval. This is really similar to the last Zwift ride I did. So what I'm doing today is really similar to the last Zwift ride I did, which was the Gorby, or AKA the Quitter, uh, because a lot of people, I guess, quit maybe halfway or 75% of the way into the Gorby because it is so grueling, five by fives. Uh, at above FTP. Um, I think after this ride, I might set my FTP a little bit higher because 225 uh, seemed not that hard, but maybe not. Maybe I'll just keep it at 225. Anyways, thanks for watching. What interview intervals are you doing this week? I would like to know. Post them in the comments down below. You know the drill. Thank you, and today is Monday, so I hope you had a good weekend. All right, let's ride. Ah, that is it. Five by fives at 250 or better. Intervals, done. Hey. Wow, I am toasty toast. Forgot to record my uh, fourth interval uh, averages for the lap. My bad, but thank you for watching. Uh, tried to keep it at 250 watts or better for the whole ride. Uh, we'll see what Strava says after I upload it. Hopefully I got top three or maybe, maybe a KOM on Aava Street. Hopefully Colin isn't watching this because Colin would absolutely go for that KOM. Hopefully I can have it for at least a few days if I did get the KOM. If I did, I'm stoked. Either way, <laughs> either way I'm stoked. It's training. You gotta have fun with it. Have fun with your training. Hope you're having a good dry day that's not rained out. Aloha, peace out from the Green Cyborg. Woo!